Oh my god, it's like Challenges 2.0. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to a new series. Now before I hear you going, what the absolute hell are you wearing today, Ethan? Well, I'd like to explain my thought process. Today we are watching Interview with the Vampire. I thought it was a vampire. It's the vampire, the one and only. Um, and my sort of thought process going into this, not knowing anything about the show, just hearing a lot of th things, murmurs if you will, over the past while about it, because this has two seasons, so it's been out for, I think the second season only came out somewhat recently. Uh, all I know about, you know, I, I don't know the most about vampires. I have seen certain things through the ages. I know of Dracula. I know of Twilight. <laughs> um, and as some of you may know, if you're a returning viewer of the channel, I like to dress up sometimes. I like to match a, a theme, a, a, a vision, if you will, uh, to a show. Uh, and I thought, wow, I have a fun little cloak that could work. You know, Voltori, kind of that old-timey, mysterious, you know, Dracula does the... And hide away, you know, like, that's fun. Um... So I, I put this on. This is just an Attack on Titan hood um, from the anime that I have. But I was like, you know what? It's appropriate. It works. Then I go to Amazon Prime. I click on the little thing. You can see the little thumbnails. These people are just wearing like suits. They are just wearing suits. They are not wearing... They look fantastic. But they do not uh, capture... Actually, in the second one, he's wearing a bit of layers. So I don't feel like I'm fully off the mark. But... My, like, hiding, spinning, kind of cape-wielding vibe. Maybe not on markers. I look. I actually think I looked really cool doing that. I was like, oh yeah. This adds so much dimension to anything I do. Maybe I should wear capes more often. I feel cool doing anything. Yeah. <laughs> I just, I got wings. Um, I am a child at heart. Please keep that in mind just in anything we watch because... I'm just gonna be dumb and stupid. Uh, do I know anything about this, <laughs> this show? I can't take myself seriously. It's got a hood. Um, do I know anything about this show? No. I don't know why I thought it was a comedy going in. Who knows? It might have comedic tense. But I have just, I think through at least a good couple of shows, I've had a good couple of comments here and there talking about this one. And it's piqued my interest. I like vampires. Uh, I think the little blurb was talking about, uh, you know, immortality. Maybe it's got a little bit of like a nuanced like thought process about immortality, life, how that works. We know occasionally I like to dive a little bit deeper, like to see what's going on, which is really exciting. I don't know. I think it's going to be cool. Uh, I'm excited, vampires, I wonder if there's action, I don't know. I think that's one of the greatest things about starting a new series, especially when a lot of people love it, is kind of, you're just going along for this ride, and I'm assuming y'all, who are all here, probably have watched it, maybe not, we're watching it together for the first time. On Patreon, we have the full-length reaction, so shout out to y'all, love you over there, also you will probably be the ones watching for the first time along with me, if we are. Um, if not, you'll get to see me go along for this journey. You'll get to be here during the steps of what you went through the first time, which is obviously my favourite thing about doing reactions and watching reactions. Uh, so I'm just excited to jump into it. Again, I have a link to the my Patreon down below, full-length reactions, this, everything else I've done. Like and subscribe, that's fantastic. And let's get into it. There's shit out there that's just you know, wrong. Oh, okay. Tell me. Meet my you professor. Know about it. Oh, I'm in class. Okay. I'm getting thrown back. The thing I'm trying to figure out is what's the deal with this subvariant business? What is in this box? Is it gonna be like a heart heart? <laughs> I don't know. Vampire is really more okay. At the forefront of my mind. Uh-huh. Oh, what wonderful writing. So wonderful, I cannot <laughs> read it in the sliders. I'm so bad with cursive. I can write in cursive, I just can't read it. Like, the actual beautiful penmanship. Like, a couple of my grandparents had lovely, lovely handwriting. Could I read any of it? 
Absolutely not. Oh, depending on what it was, obviously, but it's a lost art. Because of the phone. The phones have destroyed everything. I was a 33 year old man when I became a vampire. Lewis or Louis? How did it come about? There's a simple answer to that. A bite. I believe I want to give simple answers. Oh. I think I want to tell the real story. What are we thinking? Does the wider world know about vampires? You've grown old, Daniel. Okay. Rude. That's the first thing you're gonna tell me? Mortality beats a heavy drum. <laughs> like, sorry that I age. And here's another question. That's the sun out there. <laughs> you're standing in it. Oh. I mean, yeah, if he's not outside, correct? <gasps> oh no, I don't want to watch you burn. <sighs> Ooh, okay. That's better than sparkling. Wow, we've got some history to figure out. <gasps> oh my god. Maybe your story wasn't worth telling. Inch I I politely, Mr. Daniel. They probably are. He's a fucking vampire. Twenty blocks of drinking, gambling, and gluttonous whoring. Ooh. Okay. Gluttonous whoring? Do you tell? Diversified portfolio of enterprises. Okay, you're gonna have to be a little bit more. Oh, a pimp. Okay, I was like, specifics, please. Connie hit me. Oh, I'm a Connie now. A minute ago, I was his love. <laughs> oh, shit. She hit him, hit him. He stuck it in my shit box. I did no such thing. Oh, okay. Give him a little squirt of my catfish dinner for going. Oh, it's squirting. You better hold. Stop. Taking the bandage off my guy. There's so much wine. Don't worry, man. Honestly, okay. it's probably best because you're not feeling what you should be feeling. That's Mary. Got a situation here, Finn. No, a situation of situations. I'm having a fucking night, okay? I can't have it with your food. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, wait. Hold on. That's sick. I'll bleed you like a cochon, bro. A knife cane? Who is this guy? Did I want to pull a knife on my brother? I don't know, but that was amazing. Alluded to before. I was a different man. You never Ooh. knew who was watching. This vampire has a slutty stare, I'll tell you that right now. It might be all in the cheekbones, but like... Huh. And the, uh... Huh, latencies within me. Well, I beat those back with a lie I told myself about myself. Oh? But it's son of the South seeking ass before absolution. Sorry. Am I picking up on... Was I picking up on vibes? Or was I reading that wrong? That was just a lot of eye contact with another man. 19th century man at heart, yes. Making his uh, transatlantic journey by ship. He is such a, like... Interesting. And two more for us. And Voice. another one for the musicians. Whatever they want. Wow, I love him. He's rich. Which is not. He's only defining quality. It's just fun. <laughs> he is. Oh, the vo the way he speaks is so fun. Staring me down as his hands went wandering the seams of Miss Lily's dress. Is Miss Lily to take the end of my cane and slit his throat with it? Is Miss Lily your Miss Lily? I couldn't move. Oh my, my body God. was seized with weakness. Does he have like a presence? Dave died a string around my lungs. Is that because he's a vampire? Or like... Immobilized. Hot, you know? Couteau de sa canne. Et presser la lame sur le stomach de son frère. Is he cussing a spell me? What is he doing to me? Lestat, unpack your trunks. You're home. Unpack your trunks? Wow. He just put him in a trance. I wanted to murder the man. Um, are you still burnt from the sun? Are you okay? Does that heal? <laughs> I, got, I got questions. <laughs> I had come there for Lily. But I left thinking of only him. Oh yeah, you saw his eyes. Cheekbones. Heard his voice. 
Oh my god, that's crazy. Just the fact <gasps> this man is going to get eaten, sucked dry. And not in the fun way, you know? <laughs> yeah, maybe. I don't know how this vampire works. Oh, nah, motherfucker. Don't you dare play in light games with me, just kill me. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're gonna vampire it up, I don't want the whole horror routine. Suck me dry and leave me alone. No, motherfucker, stop turning that light back on. Come now. Come now. <laughs> Okay. Who the devil? Who the devil? Oh, you it ain't the devil, sis. It's someone else. <laughs> Jesus! I knew it was coming, too. In front of a florist, wasn't it? We both wanted the last bouquet of lilies. <gasps> oh, this motherfucker! I love him. These men look down on you. <gasps> I have to say, I find it appalling how men like yourself are treated in this country of yours. A, yes, B, I love you. Say so a great sacrifice, what? I might add, however it- He can just talk to our mind? Do you not oh. know your value? Is he stopping them? Do you suffer these indignities for some larger purpose? This is crazy, he's got them all under his spell. And do you think two pair will win the hour? Isn't two parent three of a kind okay? I ain't a cards guy. To seize it, I'll need protection from the wolves. Wow. This is amazing. Oh, okay, it was a six, not a nine. I'm so sorry. God, sometimes I get confused. 69, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank you for the money. Did it. His trick to make the world stop. Wow, I love them. And I found myself for the very first time to anyone other than Paul confiding my struggles to another man. Interesting. Which would definitely be I not how people do it at the time. Hunted? Completely unaware it was happening. Like headhunted more as? So oh, he's looking thirsty. The curtains are closed. The servants sent home. Even the planets and stars are blindfolded. With all his spells. That's your thing then? You like to watch? Can he not engage cause he's a vampire? Such a pretty head. Such a pret- Oh my word. <sighs> Maybe he can only watch because he's a vampire? <sighs> oh my god. When she's going at you, but you're looking at him. Huh. Oh my god, it's like Challengers 2.0. <laughs> oh my god, it's the sequel. Even though this came out before, I'm pretty sure. <gasps> he wants those pointy nails in his mouth. <laughs> Did he just put her to sleep? Did he give her a... A knockout orgasm? Okay, now the real show starts! Is he gonna like... Fuck him hard, then bite him? Is this a mind trick? I don't know! Oh! Imagine doing... <gasps> Can they fly? Imagine doing flying vampire anal. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No, no one does. Oh, while wow, being turned into a vampire. Okay, maybe he's not in him, sorry. Wow. What a shot. Oh, un petit coup. The little drink. Enough to keep him fit. Oh, okay. Amount of restraint for us. The little drink of intimacy it awoke within me. Yeah, well, when you become his little drink, that's like so cute. That night, out of my mind, and turned my attentions back to life. Well, look at that little slut on the stairs. I think you should get married next. Really? Do we now? Well, I'm I'm actually someone's little drink, so I'm not going anywhere. It's nice they had a fun night together. I love you, Louis. 
No, no, you talking, oh, brother. No, I'm scared. Is something going to happen to him? It's kind of like too nice of a time. Oh. Where's he going? Oh, no. Yep. Oh! Ugh. Why did I have to be right? I don't miss the sun. <laughs> Me neither. Reminders it carried. Personally, <laughs> it's a very pale person. The sun ain't for me. Except I do have a slight vitamin D deficiency, so you know, gotta deal with it, but... That's why this show's perfect for me. I embody the archetype of a... <laughs> of a stereotypical vampire. Deathly pale. You don't get past the gates. If and you kill yourself. Don't you know that? Oh God. Paul gone down the other way. Why Paul's do you believe because... that? Why do you believe? You bitch, I hate her. I can throw her off the roof next. How dare she? You know what I mean? Dude, I don't take kindly to it's being avoided. my brother's avoided. funeral. Believe me when I tell you, your brother longed for that flag stuff. I thought you was gonna say, I don't care. <laughs> I guess you just become. <gasps> Oh, poor guy. That was swift, though. <laughs> um, I guess you become so far removed when you have lived that long. Come to me. Honestly, Lucette, love you and all. Really digging your vibe, kind of. You get a little scary, but... Are you back at the wake? Uh, Lucy, yeah, just like not the time, my guy, not the time of the sliding. Come to me. Come to me. Come on me. Come in me. What are you? Like, stop giving us big signals. To face my mother's blame. And I wanted to face my boyfriend's fangs. I can't think nothing anymore but his voice and his words. Oh my gosh. What is that sound? Why does it sound like something's burning? Father, are you okay? <laughs> well, goodbye. Oh, you're gonna get turned? Oh, he wanted you bad. I don't think he cares about that. Oh, I'm sorry, mister. You're done for. Honestly, he looks like a... He would be the, like, ancestor of the blood guy from, um... <laughs> Twilight. The one in the Voltori. The one that also had really good cheekbones. Wow, wait, that's actually so cool. So he's moving fast to everyone else. But to himself, he's just walking. I would love to dive into what powers he has. <laughs> oh my god. When I thought he was going to give someone some head this episode, that's not what I was thinking. <laughs> he's like, let's fuck. And the power okay. you can't begin to imagine. Well, when you look at me like that, sure. You just have to nod your beautiful head. Say yes. Okay. <laughs> if you must. I love you, Louis. <gasps> wow. You are loved. This man is a romantic. Why am I? <laughs> I send my love to you. Okay, stop. I was seen. Be my companion. Oh, if someone said that to me. And be them without apology. This man is just eternity. living his truth <gasps> for all eternity. I th feel like when the sun blows up, you guys will die, but sure. Other than that, really cute. I'm assuming the sex will be better when you're both vampires. Again, I've seen Twilight. The end. The end. But also the, the beginning. beginning. Yep. Hell yeah. Wow. 
<gasps> oh. No offense, I get it. Like that was, uh, you know, when you cry, maybe it comes out as blood, but I sort of hated that. <laughs> wow. I feel like I've just watched a full feature film. It has gone for an hour and a bit. Um, was I expecting going into this, it's, even when it started, a like wonderful look back kind of commentary piece on life and existence and then also this like mystic vampire romance. I get it. I'm in the thralls. I am enthralled. Also, Lusat could... He just had to talk and I was there. I was like, okay, do what you want. Kill as many people as you have to. I guess it's fine when you talk like that. It's, I think it's kind of amazing how they can capture how mesmerizing he is. Like he is putting the audience under a spell too. Cause the whole time he's like doing all these crazy things and he's like preying on these people, killing these people, obviously killing to live, but you know, that's a whole other section, but you know, kind of preying on Louis and kind of, it's like kind of awful picking him at his worst moment, but the way they make it so like romantic too, because you're like, you're aware of it. You're like, why is he doing this? Like, let him grieve, let him be alone. You're picking on him. Like when he's weak, you're taking him out, but he has this like charm and air about him, which I think is fantastic the way they do it because that is like very vampire very vampiric you're kind of just like enthralled by this idea of him and everything he says you're believing it you're like wow i don't know i think that was like amazing the way that you could be so aware of what the character is doing but then sort of like apologetic to it as well i think i don't know i think it was as really well done there um other than that i'm just kind of really excited to get into this show i I get it. I get why people like it. I very much do. This first episode really, like, grabbed me, I think. Uh, there's, there's, you know, there's always two types of shows. There's, there's the ones that I like the first episode, but then, you know, and I think they're both, re re like, I don't really care how it's done, but you have the, you know, you like the first episode and then it just keeps, and then you really dive in. But sometimes the first episode, just like you're mesmerized. You're like, what the fuck? That was great. And this really like got me. I'm like, holy shit, man. Um, so it was really fun. But other than that, um, I'm just excited to keep watching. I don't know where we'll go. It has a season two. I think I have to buy a new subscription service to watch it because only the first episode was free on Amazon Prime. Um, but I'll figure it all out. Other than that, I hope you've enjoyed uh, and are having a great day. And I hope to see you in the next one.